Good evening, humans. Trying to source Moth here, and tonight we're taking a look at the AEW Unmatched 6 Malachi Black figure from Jazzwares. Does this figure hold a candle to the Supreme Collection version of Malachi that we got last year? Well, let's talk about that. Let's do this. Aesthetically speaking, this figure looks great, and honestly, every bit as good as that Supreme version that we got last year. Uh, I mean, pretty much a lot of the same stuff. Like, I think this is even the same torso. Uh, no, not the, not the same torso. Different articulation cuts, so we see a version without the butterflies, and uh, we'll get into articulation later, but this definitely works. This looks like his physique, uh, certainly as it stands now, and, you know, pretty much everything we saw before. I mean, the arms are pretty much the same. Uh, legs are the same ones we got, or one of the two pairs of legs we got are the same. We got the plain black trunks. Uh, I guess that's one of the few differences. The trunks version on the Supreme has the uh, House of Black symbol on the back but all the tattoo tampos are the same. So uh, yeah, we're getting pretty much the same thing, just kind of scaled down, and that's what you, have, that's what you hope for, certainly for the unmatched. And uh, you know, we've, we've seen this unmasked head before. Great likeness. You know, again, we kind of get that rounded out, kind of softened look from a lot of these AEW figures, but this works here. Any character with makeup, I think, definitely helps negate that a little bit. So uh, yeah, very well done all around. So definitely a cool looking figure. Not a crazy amount of accessories here, but we definitely have what we need. So let's talk about that. And uh, right out of the box, we do get a couple of fists, all the tattoos printed on there. And then we get a couple of gripping hands and same thing, same level of detail, which is always welcome. Uh, Jazzwares has definitely skipped out on that a couple of times. So worth noting. <laughs> uh, in the last section, we did look at the unmasked head, but we do also right out of the box, get the entrance gear mask and uh, you know, it looks excellent. This is something we saw again with that Supreme version. Um, just, you know, here I think maybe, actually I don't have the, the other one in front of me, I probably should. Uh, I think there's some probably extra paint on these dangly parts, uh, but beyond that, like just looks dead on and you know, great details here, especially with this little bit of accents here. So that is excellent. And then finally we get the kind of vest and uh, you know, I thought this was gonna not be this good, but this is honestly like nice, really soft plastic. I like that they did the kind of pins here for the uh, mouth covering part of it and uh, good, not, no issues getting that in and out. And uh, honestly just fits really well on the figure and looks really cool. So even, even though this is not the like, you know, doesn't have quite the dynamics that the Supreme version has, obviously because as it is in real life, a vest over soft, um, you know, material. Uh, this just works really, really well. So, uh, you know, honestly, the kudos to Jazzwares for really making this work, even as just one soft plastic piece. And that is accessories. Articulation here is wonderful and, you know, not that different from what we saw with the Supreme. And as I had mentioned in that previous review, uh, one of the most important uh, poses that you can get out of Malachi Black, of course, is standing kicks because of his kickboxing background. And uh, as you can see, like totally standing on his own. This did take a, take a little bit of work, but still like just definitely holds it. It's nice and sturdy. Took a little bit of, again, yeah, a little bit of work, but uh, t totally looks good. You can get it in the right pose. So no complaints there. Uh, so that being said, getting into the articulation, we are in a ball hinge here for the head. Uh, so we're looking up about that much. We're getting hindered by the hair sculpt here and then down a little bit. Obviously the beard sculpt is gonna kind of get in there as you can see, even by the neck, like they, they're very tight in there, so we're not gonna get any tilt whatsoever, unfortunately. Coming down to the shoulders, we are hinge and swivel, though we're coming completely into a Y pose, like that's pretty insane. Uh, honestly, I'm not missing the butterfly joints here because on that Supreme, they barely move anyway. So, you know, the, this is perfectly acceptable, I think. Then we get bicep swivel, we get double jointed elbows folding completely in half, impressively so. Then we get hinge and swivel at the wrists, all horizontal. We get my favorite combination here, ball joint in the diaphragm, ball point, ball, ball joint, pardon me, in the uh, waist. And that allows for very nice crunch and fantastic arch back. And we're even getting some good side to side, which again is gonna help with those kick poses. So we come down to the hips and we're getting almost complete splits. Perfectly beautiful. Our front kicks, not quite as well. Um, drop downs probably would have helped here, but you know we're de definitely getting about 90, so that's, that's fully respectable. We have thigh swivel, double jointed knees, bring us to here. We have boot cut, 
Then we have perfect point, not really anything on the forward. And then some rocker that does take some work because of the sculpt work that they did here on the boots, but you can get there. So that's articulation. Getting into size comparisons, here he is with the Supreme Edition and with one of his WWE Elites. With some other AEW figures. With some other wrestling lines. With some Hasbro and Mattel. With some imports. With some monsters. Finally, with unarticulated icons, Oni and yours truly in human form as a Valiverse Action Force figure. So my final thoughts on the AEW Unmatched Malachi Black figure is that this is a great figure. Honestly, uh, whether you're a mark for Malachi Black like I am, or just you're collecting the whole roster, you absolutely cannot go wrong here. I definitely think this holds up against the Supreme Edition. Um, you know, it's just, uh, and I didn't think I'd be saying that. You know, honestly, when I first saw this reveal, I was like, obviously I'm gonna buy it, but <laughs> I don't know if it's really gonna like be up there, but honestly it is, you know, and I'm happy to have this in my collection and I cannot recommend it enough. So uh, it's available through a few different channels online, I think. Uh, if not, probably just ringside. <laughs> uh, but in any event, there'll be um, links or link in the description below. So please check that out if you're interested. And all that being said, I hope you found this review informative and somewhat entertaining. If you did, please like, subscribe, other stuff, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever you feel compelled to do, uh, everything helps the channel. And, uh, you know, yeah, I definitely appreciate all of it. And beyond that, I just hope to see you here again because I do multiple reviews a week of figures related to tokusatsu, dinosaurs, monsters, pro wrestling, and more. So uh, come on back and let's talk some more toys. So with all that being said, I hope you're well. I hope all your toy dreams come true. And most importantly, I hope that you and yours stay weird, Simeons.